Last night there was a barn owl. Yeah. An owl, you know? Oh, it's a beautiful Ooh. owl. Do you like our Dahlia? It's good. <laughs> We recorded in the Bahamas at the invitation of Chris Blackwell of Island Records, and he said, uh, I'd like you to come down and do a single, one song, you know, and if I like it, then, then you can do a whole album. And so the first song we recorded was Wordy Rapping Hood. We had nothing written, I don't think, did we, when we went into the studio? We just... No, we, we, were, we were thinking that it would just come as a brainstorm, you know, once we got in the studio. Yeah. Which and it, it did. It did. <laughs> words in papers, words in books, words on TV, words for parallel, words of comfort, words of peace. Sharing the love. Words to the make the fighting cease, words to tell you what to do. Words are working hard for you. The power. Your words, but don't go hungry. Words have we recorded the music and then Tina said, well, I don't really feel comfortable about singing. And I said, but Tina, you don't have to sing. There's this new thing, it's called rap. And you can just rap. I'm not really a singer or a rapper. I had been a painter and I'd been a guitarist but I hadn't been a wordsmith, a writer. And so I felt exceedingly challenged. I thought, oh, words, words, words. Words are nuanced, words are stupid, words are romantic, words are uphill, words are stupid, words are fun, words can put you on the run. Mots pressés, mots sensés, mots qui disent la vérité, mots, mots, mots mentis, mots qui manquent le fruit d'esprit. Just, you know, just driving myself crazy, you know, walking and walking and walking, I came up with the idea that it's going to be about words. Words are trouble, words are subtle, words of anger, words of hate, words over here. trying to get beyond words and beyond mind because, you know, words can become very uh, mind-limiting. I think it's what the Dalai Lama and the Buddhists talk about when they're trying to talk about empty your mind because words have a, have a defining, crippling way of, of restricting what you think is possible. Words are like a certain person who can't say what they mean. At that point, it was our first in one song, and, and so I just wanted to say everything I thought, uh, I felt at the time in, in a three-minute song. Walking with my two sisters, Laura and Lonnie, who sang with me, and we were, we were walking on the beach, and my sister Lonnie grabbed my arm and she said, Remember, hey, do you remember when we were kids and we were in France and we'd be walking down the street and we'd be saying, Makadam, 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 Dum, Dum. And we'd have all these little things that we would learn coming home from school with the other kids. And so the kids were singing this song that made no sense at all. And much later I would learn that it came from Africa. And, but of course, we had garbled all the words, as children do. And so we were, so Lonnie took Laura's arm and took my arm, and we were walking down the street, and she, and we started singing. Ram sam sam, ma ram sam sam, kuni kuni kuni, and the whole thing. Ahu, ahu, a nikichi. We did the whole thing, and, and, we, and I said, stop, stop. And they said, what, what? And I said, that's it. We're going into the studio. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to sing, because I don't have any ideas. And we're going to sing that. And that way, they won't be mad at us for having no ideas. That was 
so great. When the girls came back into the studio and did that, the engineer, Stephen Stanley, and I said, Eureka, this is, this is it. You don't, you don't.